Hello there. Why do employees feel disengaged? Well, experts will list many factors. Poor management and direction, the lack of challenging work, poor job fit, or even poor internal communication. These reasons may be caused by different parties, that is, the manager, the co-workers, the working environment, and even perhaps the employees themselves. So what do these reasons have in common? If we dig deep into the underlying reasons, this can be explained by the self-determination theory. This theory explains how people are motivated, what they need to have to be intrinsically motivated. People need to feel competent, to have a choice and control over that choice, and to feel that they belong. In this three-part series, I explore the various reasons why employees feel disengaged, and I categorize them into three reasons. Firstly, they don't feel that they can succeed. Secondly, they feel that their potential is wasted. And thirdly, that they feel isolated. For the second part of this three-part series, I explore why employees feel that their potential is wasted and what business owners and managers can do to address this need. I'll be right back. Welcome back. My name is Raymond Huan, and if you own a business, you're interested in business, or you wish to learn about the tips and tricks on how to operate your business better, I encourage you to click on the subscribe button that you see before you right now. The self-determination theory states that people need these three needs to be satisfied, to be intrinsically motivated. That is competence, autonomy, and belongingness. In the previous video, I explored how team members who don't feel competent and like what they need to succeed can feel disengaged. Now let's talk about our need for autonomy. Autonomy means having a choice and having control over that choice. It's connected to competence. We want people to recognize that we can do our jobs and part of them means providing us with the freedom to choose how to do the work. Team members can become disengaged when they feel that they are micromanaged. In fact, a study shows that micromanagement leads to poorer work outcomes, and it gives the impression that you don't trust the person to do the job. When you micromanage people, they are unlikely to display their strengths. Instead, they focus on following your instructions to the letter. They are not encouraged to experiment or find better ways to do the job. From a leadership perspective, micromanagement distracts you, the manager, and the team member. Your focus is too much on the little details, which takes away your focus on what matters, such as leading your organization towards your goals. Your employees focus too much on your instruction instead of achieving the task's goals. And when the task fails, who do you blame? You'll be unhappy, the member in your team will be unhappy, no one is happy, and there's little motivation to do better. So what should you do? Instead of telling your employees what to do, empower them instead. Give them the goal and allow them to do what you hired them to do. Allow them to choose what to do, how to do it, where and when it gets done. And your role should be to provide what they need to succeed and to provide them with guidance and direction when they ask for your help. Micromanagement leads to disengagement and poor work outcomes. Our role as managers and leaders is to allow our team members to do the job that they were hired for and allow them to demonstrate their strengths and work towards goals. In doing so, we address their need for autonomy, which allows them to be motivated and engaged in the work. So how are you addressing your team's need for autonomy? Send me an email and let me know what you can do about it. In this next video, which is the last video of this series, I will discuss why your team feels disengaged when they don't feel that they don't belong to it and what you can do about it. My name is Raymond Huan. Thank you for watching this video and I look forward to catching up with you in the next video very soon.